Hello, good evening, and welcome to the business news segment on News 360. My name is Martin Asiedu Daten here. Your business is my business. To the details of our stories now, and Finance Minister Seth Tekwe has given the Ghana Revenue Authority up to December next year to fully implement the National Single Window System. He explained that the benefits of the system, in addition to revenue mobilization, will facilitate trade and boost investor confidence. At the National Single Window Conference in Accra, Finance Minister Setepe called for the necessary sanctions for people who will abuse the system to ensure efficiency. Commissioner General of the GRA, George Blankson, was hopeful the deadline by the Minister of Finance will be met. Apart from the preliminary challenges in the first three weeks, when we had a lot of the IDFs accumulating, which we took measures to clear by the close of the first month. Beyond that, we've been on a course of consolidating the gains that we've made. The processing time has been shortened, a jump in revenue yield. We hope to bring in even greater efficiency enhancing measures. The chief executive officer of West Blue Consulting, Valentina Menta, observed capacity building for both users and implementers was crucial for the success of the system. What is the current as is processes? Where are the issues? What are the leakages? What are the areas, the bypasses that people are going through? What's the reason for them doing that. If you can understand the as-is processes, the reasons why things are the way they are, then you can put in measures to improve the to-be and then to automate those processes. So the KPI we've set ourselves is to be 50% improved in three years. So we need to ensure that the time and cost of doing business, not only do we have a, a qualitative outcome, but also quantitatively we can say that we have reduced the cost of doing business by 50%. The Customs Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority on September 1 this year began the implementation of the National Single Window System. The system provides an opportunity for traders to lodge their documents, including certificates of origin, imports and exports permits at a single location electronically and assessed by all regulatory and trade agencies to facilitate trade. In other business news tonight, management of Vivo Energy Ghana, distributors of Shell Petroleum products, stepped out of their offices on Tuesday, December 1 today to serve customers at their service stations. The gesture was to mark the annual customer contact day across the country. The event on the theme, quality fuel, lowest price and valued customers, was to solicit feedback from customers and to appreciate them for patronizing Shell products and services. Staff at the head office to come down to our various stations across the nation, interact with the customers first and foremost to understand what their needs are, what their changing needs, um, why we are doing well, where we are not doing well, so that we go back to the drawing table and then of course come back in 2016 to still be the leader in this industry. At the airport shell in Accra, the retail manager Kwame Aka and other members of staff interacted with customers. Some customers who were served by the management team shared their excitement. <laughs> They sell quality fuel, which is good for the engine. I urge other drivers to buy Shell fuel and win prizes. Shell is a very, very good fuel company because comparing Shell to other companies, you get to realize Shell gives your engine a better engine sound. Very, very friendly. They smile to you. When you are going, they give you farewell. Meanwhile, the Shell at Shedekesi Reloaded promotion is still rewarding loyal customers at all service stations. We are the only company with automated facility that put the additional additive into our fuel, which we sell at the lowest price. We were the first to bring V-Power, if you remember, the only differentiated fuel in this country before diesel extra and uh, uh, super extra before fuel safe. So our track record shows that indeed when it comes to fuel innovation, there's nobody by Subshell. Motorist 
are to buy 60 CDs worth of fuel from any Shell service station nationwide. Get a scratch card, text the secret code to 1945 and stand the chance of winning a brand new taxi, mobile phones, free fuel, shopping vouchers and more. The promotion runs from now till January 2016 when the final draw will be held. Accra Breweries Limited, in collaboration with GIZ, a global service provider, has organized a health screening exercise for residents and traders at Agbogloshi, a suburb of Accra. Now, the exercise is intended to prevent communicable diseases in densely populated communities. Residents were screened for HIV, hepatitis B, syphilis and malaria. Health personnel from the Hepatitis Foundation and the Ridge Hospital sensitize residents on the causes and symptoms of the diseases. They go to the registration screening and then the vaccination. Once they are through, then we counsel them. We've had some of the results. None have tested positive. The free screening is an annual event held by ABL. The annual free health screening by ABL is geared towards educating communities on their health and serve them with basic medical prescriptions not accessible under the National Health Insurance Scheme. Today, worldwide, is commemorated as World AIDS Day, a day that is set aside to sensitize people about the dangers of HIV AIDS, about its mode of transmission, as well as the methods of uh, prevention. As um, a responsible company, we believe that our profitability depends on the healthy lifestyles of our consumers, the community in which we operate, as well as our customers. GIZ um, is a, the development agency for the German um, government. So for us, um, we are partnering with private sector to help the country achieve its development goals. I think um, it's in the interest of Ghana to have a healthy citizenry and a healthy person is a wealthy person so that people can be more productive. That's why we um, target people who are working and also we target the community. The exercise was also an opportunity for more than 400 people to check their blood pressure, weight and height for body mass index and test for blood sugar. Participants were also presented with ABL products. Let's turn our attention to the banking sector now and 14 customers across the 80 branches of Fidelity Bank Nationwide have been awarded so far in the Fidelity Save for Gold promotion. 17 gold coins were given out to customers in, fourth, in the fourth monthly draw of the promotion which was held in Tamale. 17 customers from Fidelity Bank branches nationwide have so far been awarded for their loyalty. Kwame Boahene from the Usu Oxford Street branch was among two customers who took home a gold coin each. Imano Ikechuku from the Tamale branch won a gold coin in the first round of two draws. 24 karat gold bars and more gold coins will be given out during the grand finale in February 2006. We believe we could not have made it this far without all the support you've given us. You believe in us from the beginning when we were laughing. And have stayed with us through thick and thin. So we would like to today recognize, appreciate, and celebrate you, our customers who are now our family, for all your efforts towards making Fidelity Bank who we are today. The Fidelity Save for Gold promotion is to reward customers to add value to their businesses and also help to realize the profound benefits that come with savings. New customers are required to open a current or savings account with a minimum deposit of 300 CDs and maintain it throughout the promotion period of six months to qualify for the draw. Existing customers are required to top up their accounts with a minimum of 300 CDs or eight multiples to stand the chance of winning in both the monthly and grand draw. The day I'll get one of those gold coins, I will melt it. I have some plans. That will be it for business on News 360. Thank you for investing your time with us. 